What's going on, YouTube? I'm VA Prince 101, and I'm here to bring you guys a, a special commentary about a topic that everybody and their mother has talked about over the past couple weeks, but I have failed to talk about, mostly because I just haven't recorded. But now, since I'm back recording Call of Duty gameplays, I want to talk about it. And this is about the new Call of Duty that's coming out, Call of Duty Ghost. Everybody's excited for it. Everybody wants it out right now. People have already pre-ordered this game without seeing a lick of gameplay from it. Me, I'm not excited for this game. There's a couple reasons why I'm not excited for it. One, nobody's seen anything about this game. I mean, you saw you saw the little trailer, you know, but it didn't show anything. It didn't show absolutely not a lick of gameplay. You saw nothing except for people running around in different masks and shit like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching people as they pre-order this game, and as you're in-game, you see people with the little ghost cam on. I'm like, really? You really just pre-ordered this game? Why? Why did you just pre-order this game? It makes no sense why people went out and spent their good heart on $60 on a game they haven't even seen yet. The other reason why I'm not excited for this game is because Infinity Ward is making another Call of Duty. Let's look at the past Infinity War Call of Duties. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, but they made COD 4. One, it's not the same group of people that made COD 4. And the same group of people that made COD 4 made Modern Warfare 2. And that was a terrible game. Modern Warfare 2 was bad. It was beyond bad. I mean, people loved it in the beginning. And then, you know, One Man Army, Noob Tube, Care Package Glitch, Javelin Glitch. That game needed to be patched so many times that they just completely said fuck it. They stopped patching the game. The game is still broke to this day. And you know, let and Infinity Ward and Sludgehammer, they they made Modern Warfare 3. You know, David, I mean, whatever that guy's name is. I forgot the guy's name. Uh no last stand. Yeah, man, but look at all the other bullshit you left in that game. Like, final stand, I mean, good lord, that's worse than last stand. Last stand, I mean, they only get a pistol, and somebody else has to come pick them up. Final stand, they drop with whatever gun they just got dropped with, and nine times out of ten, you just die. If you drop somebody in the final stand, you are probably going to die. Because it was just like drop shotting, but only quicker. They drop flat to the ground and picks you off. And then, you know, all the overpowered guns and then all the underpowered guns pretty much made you only use the overpowered guns. I mean, how many people used the M16 in that game when, when the game first came out? Nobody. They had to patch the M16 just so people could stop using the ACR and the SCAR and the MP7 and the Uzi. No, not, I mean the UMP. I mean, but then they had to patch the, they, they buffed the UMP, but I thought the UMP was pretty strong in the beginning. But, you know, hey, that, that's just my own little opinion. Modern Warfare 3 might have been the worst Call of Duty ever. Then it was Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty 4 was great because, you know, they didn't have that much stuff to work with. And I mean, even in Call of Duty 4, there, there was guns overpowered out the asshole. The M16, you know, I mean, in the Call of Duty 4, all the guns were overpowered. Just gonna let that one be known. Every gun in Call of Duty 4 was over. Powered. And every gun in Modern Warfare 2 was overpowered. But everything was so bad about Modern Warfare 2. I feel like Treyarch is the only is the only group that knows how to make a Call of Duty game. I feel like Infinity War just shouldn't make one anymore. Because Infinity War just seems not to know how to make it. It seems like when that game comes out, there's going to be so much shit wrong with it. There's no point to even buy it when it first comes out. I probably won't even buy it until there's like two, three patches into the game. So I know, like, okay, there's still going to be stuff wrong with it, but I'm not going to have to deal with the bullshit that, that is going to have to be in that game. And I mean, they're, I, Death Streaks, let's hope and pray that they've learned from their past two failures and not put Death Streaks in the game. And I hope they keep the score streaks the way they are. I hope it doesn't go back to kill streaks because then people are just going to kill Horror again. But I, yeah, I just hope they keep kill, score streaks in the game. Don't bring kill streaks back. We don't need kill Horn. Don't bring the nuke back. If you bring the nuke back, you're already setting your game back very far. Don't do it. Don't do it, Infinity War. Don't do it to yourself. Don't, I mean, if you're going to bring noob tubes back, don't bring, don't, don't one-man army us. I hope you guys don't do that again. I, I think they've learned not to do that bullshit again. 
I mean, there's certain things that they've learned from Modern Warfare 2 that they just shouldn't do. Like overpowered shotguns. I would say some of the shotguns in this game are a little iffy. Like, the guy... Oh, my God. <laughs> I think everybody knows the shotgun I'm talking about. I can't name it off the top of my head. But everybody knows the goddamn shotgun I'm talking about. I, I want to say, let's... Damn it, I forgot what it was called. Let, let's... The, the goddamn KSG. That gun has the most range I've ever seen on a shotgun, ever. And the Spaz had a lot of range in Modern Warfare 2. So this gun has range. But you know, I don't die by it that... Yeah, I do. I die by that fucking gun a lot. But I don't rage like that. Modern War... Any Infinity War game... Any game with Modern Warfare in the beginning of it, you're gonna raise your ass off. They don't even call the first Modern Warfare Modern Warfare, they just call it COD 4. And then you get the Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Those games were completely bad. Infinity Ward. I'm gonna give you guys another chance. Because I love Call of Duty. Love the, love the genre, love the series. I'm gonna give you guys another chance. If your game turns out to be complete shit, what they should just do is just shut y'all guys down. Y'all should not be able to make another Call of Duty if you guys, if that game sucks. We're just going to put it out there like that. If that game is complete garbage, I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy another one from Infinity War. No, I'm not even going to buy this game when it first comes out. I'm going to wait a couple, I'm going to wait a couple weeks. And then I want to see what the reviews are of the game, you know, see, see, like, okay, that gun might be overpowered, but, uh, you know, it still has its flaws. You know, if y'all game is like that, okay, I'll be like, okay, I'll buy it. But, I mean, if you guys can't balance guns, like, Treyarch knows how to balance guns. All Treyarch's guns are pretty balanced. All of them have what's great about them. All of them have a strength. All of them have a weakness. In, in the Infinity War game, it seems like, oh, there's that one gun that has all weaknesses. And then that one gun, the ACR, it has all strengths. So all that gun can drop you pretty quick. And that gun had no recoil. I remember in E3 they said, oh, the ACR, you know, it has it, it, it has, it has a little recoil, but, you know, it's going to take a long time to drop somebody like that. That was a lie. You can drop people pretty quick with the goddamn ACR. But, you know, I, I, I guess I'll give these guys a benefit of the doubt because I love Call of Duty. Love Call of Duty. I will never play Modern Warfare 3 again. I'll play Modern Warfare 2 again just to get a nuke. But I will never play Modern Warfare 3 again because that game is complete shit. The people who made it should be hung from a building. And that's what I think about Call of Duty Ghost. Game hasn't even come out yet, and I'm already raging at it. I'm VA Prince 101, and I'm out. Hope you guys like the Swarm and Dog combo. Peace.